have a background in environmental um, consulting and permitting and wetland delineation and alternatives analysis. So I thought this would be pretty cool because it includes the built environment. And that was interesting to me. Uh, something that at least that I remember was impressed upon us and that we try and use often in SOS is the importance of stakeholders. Because while I had known about walk audits and um, alternative design and things like that, I had not considered the importance of stakeholders, even to the degree of like a county health department. Mm -hmm. And so I thought that was really interesting. And Mark and Becca are very good about making sure that the students understand that you have to get feedback from everybody, you know, the people who are using whatever design you're building and all the way to, like I said, health departments. And, you know, it was just a, a really expansive view that they taught us. For our final project, every student had to basically do an on the ground sort of project that was in your community. Um, and by on the ground, I mean, not just theoretical, like try and apply it somehow to see how you could apply it, design it to be applied. So I chose an intersection here in town, which is notorious for crashes. And it used to have a underpass, which they then closed off because there was a lot of crime there. So I chose that as my project such that I almost did an alternatives analysis on it, where I showed the issues with the intersection and then tried to see like what a roundabout work and how much would that reduce crashes or would a road diet work or curb extension. So I applied a lot of the countermeasures that we learned in the course to this. So, you know, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have had all those inroads or all that understanding had it not been for this course. So I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> so we've only been around for about a year and a half and our mission, we're dedicated to making Omaha streets safer for all users. And we do that through education, through advocacy, through projects, and most importantly, through collaboration with local government. So some of the things that we've done, we started with, we do a lot of education through blog posts and our blog posts are not just informative, but we try and give people applied tips to use, like how to request special enforcement if you have an area of your concern, how to request public records, um, you know, public records requests, uh, understanding data, because there's a lot of data and I'm kind of a data nerd. So we give them blog posts on how to do that. Most importantly, uh, a year ago, we were appointed by the mayor to our Vision Zero Technical Advisory Committee because Omaha has committed to Vision Zero. And most currently, our biggest project is um, a road safety audit for a major thoroughfare in Omaha, which is right next to where our main library is going to be built, a new main library. And it's a treacherous, terrible road. And so we took the walk audit idea that we learned about in this class and expanded it to a road safety audit. We just started kind of by accident. Um, but I'm glad we're doing it, advocacy for LGBTQIA plus folks who had had some issues on our public transit system. And we're kind of working as a, a medium or a go-between between them and trying to figure that out. <laughs>